And we have just got confirmation of the official prices for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. As per this Instagram post by PlayStation India, you can see PlayStation 5 will be retailing for 50,000 rupees and the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition for 40,000 rupees. There were earlier rumors of PlayStation 5 being at 55,000 rupees and Digital Edition not even coming to India. However, thankfully, Sony has dispelled all rumors and confirmed for both consoles being launched in India. Now, we still don't have confirmation for the launch date as well as when pre-orders will go live. So it is likely to be announced soon. However, it might still be expected that the PlayStations can be delayed. So be sure to take this news with a pinch of salt. And now continuing with the games list for the PlayStation 5. Even though it's almost certain that the PlayStation 5 will be delayed in India, the optimism amongst gamers like me remains high. Keeping that in mind, here's a list of all PS5 exclusive games. Namaskar friends, welcome to Illegal Desi. Let's start. Bear in mind that this video will only cover PS5 exclusive games and will not cover any third-party games coming to the PlayStation. I will be coming up with a separate video for Xbox Series X exclusive games as well as all third-party confirmed games. The first game on our list is Astro's Playroom. Now this will be loaded into your PS5 when you buy it and is for all purposes a tech demo of what the PS5 has to offer. Next is the Demon Souls remake and is confirmed to be a launch title. Next up we have a big one, God of War Ragnarok. Now Sony did tease this during the PlayStation event and said it's coming in 2021. However, considering the situation, it's highly likely to be pushed to 2022. Next up is Gran Turismo 7, one of the better looking racing games that exists on the PlayStation. Currently there's no launch date announced for this title. Next on the list is Destruction All-Stars. Now this is a brand new IP that has been created exclusively for the PlayStation where players engage in vehicular combat. This has been confirmed as a launch title for the PlayStation 5. Next up is Sackboy A Big Adventure, another launch title coming to PlayStation 5 on November the 12th. And then we have one of the most anticipated games on the PlayStation 5, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now do keep in mind, if you buy the Ultimate Edition, you also get the remastered version of the original Spider-Man from PlayStation 4. This again is a confirmed launch title. Next game is Horizon Forbidden West and is confirmed to release in 2021. Then we have Returnal, a brand new IP due to be launched in 2021. And finally, on the exclusive list is Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart due to launch on or before March 2021. But that's not all. Sony has gone out of its way to grab exclusivity deals for five different games. These are Final Fantasy 16, which does not have a release date as of now, Coastwire Tokyo due to launch in 2021 without any official date, Deathloop due to launch in June 2021, Godfall, which will be a launch title, and Project Athea, which may not see the light till 2023. And there you have it, 10 games that you can only play on the PlayStation and 5 games that will be available to the PlayStation only for 1 or 2 years, depending on the deal they made. That's gonna do it for the video guys. If you like the video, do hit the like button and press the subscribe button. It helps out the channel more than you know. Share this video out to a friend if you feel they'll be interested in this content. And hit that bell notification to get the latest updates from me. I post videos every single week talking about the gaming scene in India. Anyways, once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.